What's going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. Now, I've always loved hacking movies. I grew up around computers, all the way back to playing games on DOS like Jazz Jackrabbit, Commander Keen, even Jeopardy and stuff way back when. And since I was so into computers, when I started seeing hackers and hacker culture in movies and TV and stuff, I was immediately hooked. So I got more and more into building programs and making websites and doing whatever I thought would make me a hacker. Now, we all know that most of the times what you see in movies about hacking is completely and totally fictional. But it is still fun to sit back and dissect these scenes and kind of figure out what they did wrong and what they did right. So today we're going to take a look at some of my favorite hacking scenes from movies and TV and figure out exactly what's going on. So sit back, relax, and grab some popcorn. It's movie time. All right, so of course, our first movie of the day is gonna be The Matrix. Now, The Matrix was a super influential movie to me. I absolutely loved that movie when it came out. In fact, I actually still watch that movie probably once every other month or so. It's kind of one of those cozy movies I put on in the background when I'm trying to get stuff done. All right, so this first scene comes from right in the beginning of the movie, and it shows Neo's little hacking setup, which is super, super cool. All right, so let's check it out. I love this, and this comes all over and over and over again. Projecting the screen onto somebody's face, we're gonna show it again later on. I love this gag. So he's got some old CRT monitors. He's only got two screens, so I guess that's not too many. Yeah, you can see it actually, not to brag or anything, but it kind of looks like the mess of my studio where I've just got gadgets everywhere. Of course, he wakes up at the exact right moment. Now, interestingly enough, not that this would really ever be a, you know, an attack vector, but you could super easily do this. If you had root access to somebody's computer, this would be super doable. And again, we've seen this, the Matrix has you thing over and over again. Uber Guido's made a bad USB of it. I've seen it on pretty much any device. It's kind of like running Doom or running Bad Apple. If it has a screen, chances are somebody said the Matrix has you on it. All right, so the next scene we're going to take a look at is when Neo walks into the control room that Cypher's at, and Cypher's looking at all the Matrix code, and he's explaining how it all works. I love how many monitors there are. Whoa! There's a reason why Cypher's so jumpy. You scared the bejesus out of me. Is that the Matrix? Yeah. You always look at it and code it? Well, you have to. The image translators work for the construct program. It would be kind of funny if that's exactly how code and stuff worked and that's how you could see it. Obviously, that's not exactly how it works. I mean, there is stuff running in the background, but if it looked like, you know, normal coding and stuff, it would be way less visually appealing. I, I don't even see the code. All I see is blonde, brunette, redhead. I mean, there are people that look at code and can actually read it that well. So I commend them. That's awesome. Now, none of these scenes are really like hacking because it's the Matrix. They're kind of hacking things in a different way. But this next scene is really cool too. So this is when Neo is learning all this stuff while having the Matrix hooked up to his brain. So yeah, let's check this one out. I'm going to learn jujitsu. Now, if it worked this way, this would be so cool. You could literally learn how to do anything. Like you want to be really good at guitar? Boom, do this. You want to be really good at Tony Hawk Pro Skater? Hey, go for it. I'll tell you what though, if this was possible, I would learn how to do so much stuff. This would look so much fun. But you know what almost feels as easy as that is today's sponsor, PCB Way. Hey, it's not the same as hooking something directly up into your brain, but PCB Way can make it so easy to design and create any kind of PCB you want. They've got engineers on staff that will help you every single step of the way. Once that PCB is designed, you can 3D print or CNC or sheet metal fab anything you need for your project. Then don't forget the module store. They have a ton of stuff that'll make it even easier for you to get your projects done. So head on over to PCBWay.com for a free instant quote. Thank you so much for the continued support. Let's get back at it. All right, so this next movie is possibly my favorite movie of all time. Of course, it's Hackers. Now, Hackers is definitely one of the more stylized versions of hacking that you'll see around, but I mean, it was from 1995. People had no idea about computer hacking and they had to make it look cool. Now, this first scene really doesn't need much of an introduction because of course, it's Joey when he first hacks the Gibson. Let's go. That's just such a ridiculous thing right there. They love to show like the insides of computers, like that's somehow gonna be part of the hacking process, but no. It is a cool way of visually demonstrating the fact that you're traveling over phone lines. So I get what they're going for there. And 
And then this, this is just the coolest server room, I guess. I don't know what's going on in here, but this is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Now, if you haven't seen this movie before, and if you're not completely familiar with the scene, definitely go watch Hackers. It's a phenomenal movie. I love it. It's so tacky, but it's so good. And I think this is trying to depict him moving through file systems or something like that. It's hard to tell because again, it's all artistic. Yeah, here we go. Now he's gonna start moving through file systems to find the garbage file. Home run, home run, okay, okay. And we're in. Oh man, it's, that's ah, so good, it's so good. I love this movie so much. Now this next clip is an extremely, extremely common trope in pretty much all the movies. It is a computer virus that's a person. They do this so many times, I think it's hilarious. All right, so let's check it out. A virus planted within the Gibson computer system claimed responsibility. What, it left a note? On oh, this, five million dollars are transferred to the following number account. I will capsize five ankles in the NX fleet. That is the virus, Leonardo da Vinci is the virus leonardo da vinci like that's not how any of that stuff works i mean you get a note or something but the whimsy though i i i kind of wish this was real i kind of wish that's really was what hacking is and i guess some people are doing stuff like that now but obviously it's not practical it's not realistic all right so this next clip is also one of my favorite little tropes and again we already saw it in the matrix this is when everybody's at the house party and they first take a look at acid Burns laptop let's check it out yo Check this out, guys. This is insanely great. It's got a 28.8 BPS modem. 28.8 BPS modem. I remember those days. I wouldn't wish them upon anyone. Yeah? Display? Act of Matrix, man. A million psychedelic colors. Yeah, I bet it looks crispy in the dark. Here it comes. It always projects on the hackers' faces whenever it's dark. It, there's no reason for it. It's good visual storytelling. You all understand what's going on that they're on the computer, but they literally can't help themselves from making that shot. I tell you what, I could literally watch the entire movie and just like mystery science theory to the whole thing. So I love that movie so much, but we gotta move on. So this next clip is from NCIS. And if you know what's coming up, this is one of the dumbest things that's ever happened in any form of media around hacking or cybersecurity. It is insane. So let's check it out. No way i'm getting hacked of course you? no the fact that it's going that fast i mean that's just wild all these windows popping up but it gets worse no this is major they've already burned through the ncis public firewall we'll isolate the node and dump them on the other side of the router I'm so some of that stuff makes sense so I'll, I'll buy it for tv at least trying it's moving too fast Oh, this is not good. They're using our connection to the AFIS database. Sever it. Two people on one keyboard. Obviously, we know that's just stupid. It's not like you can type more stuff. Is he typing half of words and she's typing the other half? Like, how on earth is this working? It's literally the stupidest thing of all time. It's a point attack. It's not possible. This is DOD level nine encryption. It would take months to get built. Right. DOD level nine encryption. It would take months to get through. Oh no. We can't stop him. Do something, McGee. I've, I've never seen code like this. <laughs> Where'd it go, Abby? I didn't do anything. I thought you did. I did. Thank God he unplugged the monitor. What else would we have done in that situation? Oh God, it's so bad, it's so bad. But like, this is such a classic video. It's, especially with like TV, cause these guys have to put out like 23 episodes a season and they want it to look cool. People don't know crap about computers. So let's have two people on one keyboard. Cause I mean, two people can play the same piano, right? And sometimes I don't know what these writers are thinking, but it's hilarious. And this has become a treasured internet meme. All right, so this next movie is actually another guilty pleasure movie of mine. It's a Nicolas Cage flick, come on. It's awesome it's gone in 60 seconds so i'll narrate my way through the scene and we'll see some pretty familiar stuff so yeah what they're doing is they're driving around and they're trying to get reconnaissance on the vehicles they need to steal so this guy's out here with a device that looks kind of familiar waiting for her to activate her garage door so yeah right there we're scanning and then she hits the garage door boom now we've got the code Bingo. Now we come back a little bit later on in the movie. I can turn the audio back on because there's no more music, but we actually use this thing now. All right, so here we are, we've got our device. We send our code out, boom, garage door opens. 
Now, keep in mind, this is an older movie. I want to say it's from like 1999. So a lot of those garages did not use rolling codes and they were actually pretty easy to intercept and use. So this is all super, super like doable. You can do it with a hack RF. You can do it with a flipper zero. There's a ton of other stuff you could do it with. Plus, anytime I can shoehorn a Gone in 60 Seconds or a Nicolas Cage movie into one of my videos, hey, I'm down. Now, this next clip, I'll admit, I actually haven't watched this movie and I'm definitely going to watch it as soon as I'm done filming and editing because it looks awesome. So this next clip is from the movie The Core. Now, it's not exactly hacking, but this guy was hacking and now he's trying to, well, you can watch and figure it out. Hold on. Shit! Mr. Finch, this is the FBI, we have a war. So yeah, the cops are there and they have a warrant. So they're gonna come in and he's got all his computer stuff. So what does he do? He's trying to go through and wipe as much evidence as possible. So he's got a keyboard shortcut that he goes through and presses on all of his computer and then it's going through and doing a core purge. Basically, ideally what it's trying to do is erase everything on his hard drive and rewrite everything with zeros. All right, so he's throwing floppy disks in the toaster, which I'm sure would work. And now we've got CDs in the microwave. Okay, so I think those are all servers and he's got an electromagnet, which he's using to degauss it. Is that is that the right term? I'm not sure. Yeah, he's going through and trying to magnetize all of his drives, trying to wipe as much data off as possible. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's a really fun idea. I'm not sure how much of that would work, at least not that quickly, but if you want to go through and get rid of a lot of data, that's the thing to do. Again, I haven't actually seen this movie and I really want to watch the rest of it. All right, so this last clip is another super iconic one. It's from the movie Jurassic Park. So they're trying to get through and unlock the stuff that got locked out, but I can't remember the guy's name, but he planted a computer virus. So of course, computer virus gonna have a name to it. It's gonna have a face to it. So let's watch. Whoops, the looks like he got rate limited. You didn't say the magic word. I hate this hack of crap. Call uh, 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 Nedra's uh, people. Uh, 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 in Cambridge. Uh, uh, uh. Like, why would you even add a little thing like that to your virus? I mean, I guess it's insult to injury, and it is really funny. Again, from a perspective of a movie, it's great storytelling, and that's really what it comes down to with pretty much all hacking in TV and movies. And real hacking to watch somebody do it is pretty boring. People watch TV and movies for the storytelling of all of it, not the accuracy. So, of course, when they misrepresent hacking, it's not a big deal because it's fun to watch. Just like hopefully this video was. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was a little bit more of a different paced video, but I don't know. I love watching movies. Movies and I like commenting on stuff like that. So every once in a while, I feel like it's a fun thing to do. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. You guys are absolute legends. Thank you for picking this video over every other video and we'll catch you next time.